Hello everyone, I'm Lynn from Mockingbird in Maine and I'm so excited to show you my August Design Team Junk Journal project. And so this is a standard size traveler's notebook. It's got a cardstock cover and it measures about four and a quarter by eight and a quarter, a little bit more with the textiles poking out. And this journal has a Victorian, somewhat feminine, but also steampunk look to it and theme. And it belongs to Lady Wilhelmina Wallingford. And she took this journal from London to Paris with her. And she is looking to invest some of her wealth in what they think is the up and coming travel and tourism industry of hot air balloon travel. I've got goodies to go along with the collection. Well, I'll show you that at the end. And let's take a look inside. Um, this is a dyed crinkly seam binding closure that is removable and a bunch of sari silk ribbons. And this is the cover from the Aeronautical Adventure bundle that gave me the idea. I love this, the gold and the red. And I just, that's when the story just came to life for me. Inside is a little tuck spot here. I've used uh, sorted labels that I find here and there in the bundles. And what I usually do is just make a sheet of them in my word processing software and just print them out and have them available. This little guy is, I believe, from the mini ephemera pieces bundle. So I hunted around on the premium and membership site to find things that had hot air balloons on them, and there are a ton. This cover is from the Vintage Office Supplies Bundle, and I thought it went really well with the look that I was going for. And here on this back one, we have a little tuck spot here with a postcard with a gentleman on it. And I use some burlap. It's uh, for upholstery, like strapping for um, chairs and things. I also use some of it to make a pocket here. But it reminded me a little bit of like the baskets that you'd, you'd be in in a hot air balloon. Inside the front cover, we find Lady Wallingford. And she is from, I have my list here because I've used so many bundles in this journal that I knew I wasn't going to be able to keep it straight. But she is from the Instant Ancestors Bundle and I just backed her with one of the decorative papers from the Aeronautical Adventures Bundle. Here we have a bookmark from the Ephemera Collection. There's a balloon on it there and I've just turned it into a tuck spot. Here's a ticket with a balloon. A little bit of satin here. This, I believe, is from the Celestial Images bundle, and I just thought it was really interesting, and all the different instrument ga the gauges, and I printed this onto, and I've done it with a few pieces of the ephemera here, a, like the children's drawing paper, which is a little thinner and a little bit grayish tint to it. I love printing on that. Here's a little tuck spot here with a couple more little pieces of ephemera. I've printed on the back of most of the ephemera um, a map of Paris. And some of it, you can't see it very well here, but I'll show you on some of the other pages. I found a copper metallic thread in my sewing basket, so I tried that out on here and I love it. This is a page from a um, vintage book. Uh, another sari silk ribbon. I've used parchment paper as pages and tea dye paper as well. Here's an aerial image of a city. And when you see the other half of this, there's um, a hot air balloon. I've also done some digital stamping onto the masking paper. The steampunk bundles, and there's a few of them, but they have beautiful black and white images like this that are perfect for digital stamping. Um, this is a, an instrument to, uh, that automatically records the velocity or direction of the wind or both. And I thought that would be fun from this vintage dictionary. Another piece of sari silk on a vintage ledger page. And this little file folder is from, also from the Celestial Images bundle. And I just backed it with some more of that decorative paper. And this is just a piece from a green hanging file folder. And it wasn't all business for Lady Wallingford. She did some shopping while she was in Paris. And this um, fashion image I got actually here on the blog. 
lots of journaling space in this as well and we have an old friend this is Charlotte I don't know if you remember her from the inventors guild so she is helping uh, Wilhelmina navigate this business venture in Paris here's some more of the metallic thread I love the postcards um, I love the vintage postcard bundle and I love when vintage postcards are included in other bundles because they make perfect pockets and also perfect journaling cards. Here's one of the vintage postcards with a ticking fabric ruffle. And uh, Lady Wallingford also did some shopping for some wine. Here's a little wine list. Another little piece of satin. Some graph paper and some grungy tape. Here's one of the digital stamp images. Here's a piece of um, player piano roll that was gifted to me from Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. And dirigible with a little piece of washi tape there pointing to it. This is um, from Vintage Paris bundle and I printed the image of the Eiffel Tower onto some vellum. Here's a little pocket here, tea dyed ledger. And then just some little pieces of ephemera, another postcard. And these also printed onto the drawing paper. This is from the Celestial Images bundle as well. And I just grungied it up, made it look old. She's folded it up and tucked it away. She's got a, gathering a lot of information. This is from the Aeronautical Adventures bundle. And on the back, she's jotted down what looks like a longitude and latitude. And it says Versailles. So maybe they're going to fly from Paris to Versailles in a balloon. Some more sari silk, another of the postcards with the balloon. This is just from a vintage engineering book. I like these pages and I usually include them if I'm doing a steampunk theme because they have different instruments on them. And another little business card from a Paris shop. And in the center, I wanted something bold and I love the marbled end papers, so this is one of those. And this is, well, it's clipped here. And I'll show you this quickly. This is uh, just a vintage postcard that you can decorate a page with or journal on. And here, this is a double flip out. So we got, you can hide some journaling under there. And this is a an observation. I guess you could write down um, altitude, temperature. I don't speak French, but I can make out some of the words, but anyway, we've got that little piece of ephemera for a balloon flight printed onto parchment. Here's just a little tuck spot the other side of that postcard with another little postcard journaling card there. Some more sari silk. Here's one of the steampunk images. And here we have another balloon image with the map on the back. And then just a little uh, die cut flower, a little she collected and saved from something. Here's the other part of that vellum page with the Eiffel Tower. Some more sorry silk, and I love this lady. And so she had to, well, she's here twice. She's on this, and then she's in the journal as well. Love her. Here is another little flip out with a digital stamp of a compass. Some more sari silk label. I put different labels throughout. This um, I turned into a pocket a title page, and inside we have another little piece of ephemera. She's gone to the optician, um, perhaps to order some goggles for her flying adventures. And this is just a little tab of some. Uh, upholstery fabric sample. Here is an envelope. I added a second little label onto this. And then another postcard. All distress inked inside. And the other side of that, the fashion plate image. And the other side of the masking paper with another digital stamp there from one of the steampunk bundles, another uh, gold sari silk there, and a little um, die cut gear. 
And here is the other side. I love this so much of that aerial drawing with the balloon. So pretty. And another flip out page with one of the little Tim Holtz mini paper clips. And just a cloud image and another label. Is that? And another red label. Here a little tuck spot. This is one of the bookmarks I just trimmed down to create a little tuck spot. And then these images are both from the Aeronautical Adventure Bundle. I just put the balloon over the cloud image and printed it out. And there's the back of that. So part of our collection includes a salesman sampler of different balloons. I printed them onto that overhead projector acetate and these are from the Steampunk Images 2 bundle. And I just created tags. I used some photo corners to hold them in and then each one has a little label that goes on to the back a little bit. This one's got some washi tape. And so it's just pinned here. You could use it to journal on the back of. You could leave it as it is. Um, but it's all the little samples of balloons that she's going to see that are available. And, or you could use it to embellish your pages. She also, in her shopping, got some fabric. Here's some sorry silk and some laces and trims. A little tag here. She's gonna be having some dresses made. So she's got that just pinned there. And then this pocket, she's got a couple, another one of those tickets and a little tag here. A little um, clip that says three. I don't know why, but I kept gravitating towards the number three. This is a vintage, um, well these, all these are. These are little, I don't know what game it is, but these are little vintage French wooden pieces from some game. I just drilled holes in and put them on bulb pins. This is a little um, metal tag from, I believe it's Tim Holtz. And then a little three, this may be bingo or lotto. And then we've got that lady again and another label. So that is it, everyone. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it. I'm really in love with this journal. I had so much fun working on this. I hope everyone is doing well, and I will see you back here again real soon. Thanks again, everyone. Bye.